Hi, today we're going to look at this Firmochromic paint. Uh, it's actually a pigment and you mix this with your regular paint and when heat is applied it will change colour. So um, if you look at my table here, you see if I put my hand on here for a couple of seconds and then take it away, you should be able to see my handprint on there because this whole table has been covered uh, with paint which this pigment was added to. Now it's really simple to make. Um, all you need is some regular acrylic paint. So in this case I'm using white. Oops, that's a bit tight. Okay, so we'll start by putting some of that into a uh, plastic cup. I'm just going to mix up a little bit because I already have a bunch of this pre-mixed um, but I want to show you on the fly how it's done. We get our pigment which is heat sensitive and we'll just add a little bit of that into the cup. There we go. Now you can get this pigment in different colours. This one is meant to be black um, but because I'm right now at such a hot temperature here in Manila, um, it's so close to the changing point of this pigment that it's actually kind of grey. So you just mix the pigment in with your paint, like this. You could actually do it with a little bit more paint in mine. Okay. Here we go. Mix that in. Now what happens is we start with white paint and we add the black or grey pigment. Now the paint will come out a kind of blacky grey, but when heat is applied it will turn transparent and whatever colour is underneath will be revealed. And in this case that's white. Okay, so I'll apply that to our paper here. I'm using a really cheap brush here, um, so you're, you're going to see bristle marks, but this is just a demo to show you how it works. Like I said, I've already pre-mixed a whole bottle. Um, basically, I got a, a large bottle, I filled it with a bunch of the pigment and some, uh, I actually used glue because I wanted fully transparent to reveal whatever colours underneath, for instance, orange. Um, and then I just shook it for, you know, 10 minutes, um, so I have a big pre-mixed batch. So I don't want to make up too much right now. And you'll see that the, the hand um, will actually gradually disappear. Like I said at the moment, the heat here is so high that it's actually close to the changing point of this pigment. So it's going to take longer to go away. It also depends on the surface that you put it on. So you'll notice that once we test it with this cardboard or paper, it's actually going to disappear a lot quicker. So I'll pause the video uh, and we'll come back once this is dried. Here's the pre-mix one I told you about, which is mixed with a, a clear glue instead of white paint. So I'm just going to apply that on the edge of the paper so you can compare the difference. One thing you'll immediately notice is that you'll probably have to give it at least two coats when you're using this uh, transparent glue version, um, especially if you're using a crappy you know, bristle brush like this. Um, it's not very easy to get a clear coat. So like I said, I'll pause it and we'll come back once both of these have dried. Okay, so the paint is now dried. Let's try this out. And there you go, you can see my hand print on there and it should actually fade a lot quicker on this paper um, or cardboard because it doesn't hold its temperature as well as for instance this um, wooden table. So we should see that fade pretty quick. I mean you can already see that the fingers are starting to fade. Um, and it's really that simple, you can use it on anything. Um, so my question is, what would you use this on if you had this paint? For instance, I did my table, we did this piece of cardboard, where would you use it? 
Um, I've even seen people use it on their car, which is quite uh, interesting. So you can touch the car or when the sun touches the car, it changes color. And of course, you don't have to have white underneath this. If you go with the glue version, for example, um, it's actually transparent. So if I put my fingers here, you'll see that it's actually gone transparent. And if I put it here, I warm up this whole area. You can see it's actually turning transparent and the color we're seeing is the orange. Whereas with this version, we're seeing the white paint that's underneath. So if I put my hand here again, you can see my fresh hand print there and the white paint underneath. So um, this thermochromic pigment is actually quite interesting and quite fun. Uh, but yeah, tell me in the comment section, what would you do with this paint? Where would you use it?